Hello and welcome to Parma. I'm Addy Daly, birth on Spain. Today I'd like to show you this lovely Oyster 82. This is Rivendell. As you can see, it was quite a breezy day when I took this video, but that shouldn't distract us too much. We'll just step on board now and have a look round deck first. Rivendell was built in 2009. She's the 12th of the 82s to be built. She's lying here in Parma. She's in great condition, ready to go. Teak's in really good condition as well. There was a, an antifungal treatment was applied before the winter, so it's kept it looking good through the wet months. Moving forward, we can see the 4.6 meter Avon Adventure Open tender with the 60 horsepower Yamaha on the back. That's a four stroke outboard. The tender has Raymarine nav equipment, plenty of power for water skiing and whatnot. The two foresails here have Reckman hydraulic furlers. Really easy to use from the cockpit. We've got a well sized stainless steel anchor there and stainless chain. Coming back round and looking aft, we can see where the tender is sitting. There's a full set of cushions that go there for sunbathing. And it's an easy job to get this tender in and out of the water. We'll have a quick look at the mast. This is a carbon hall spars mast painted in white all grip. Three sets of spreaders. The main cell is fully battened and she has Harken switch track and mast cars which enables the sail to stack lower in the V boom there. Navtech hydraulic vang and main sail outhaul. The winches are all electric self tailing. You can see the spray hood is off as well at the moment uh, in storage and she also has two biminis for the main cockpit and then a bimini over the helm stations as well. All of the covers are in umbrella cadet grey. Lovely big aft deck, with these seats at the push pit. All of the safety equipment, the life rafts, etc., have all been serviced recently. Twin helm positions, carbon wheels with leather covering. the Raymarine navigation equipment with repeaters you can see just there above the companionway. These lovely high gloss varnished cockpit tables open up and give you plenty of space for entertaining. Let's have a look inside. It's 
So we're looking at the nav area here, really good sized chart table. Apple Mac, and then the Raymarine navigation displays. I'm going to look around the huge deck saloon. Lovely area here for dining inside. Flat screen TV there has a pull down cover. And then these huge oyster windows, allowing all this light to flood in. Ocean air blinds you can see there. We'll step down into the lower saloon. It's a nice comfortable sofa area there with extendable table again which can go up and down. Looking here to starboard. This little desk area has storage for the crockery and glasses and then below you can see where the ice maker lives. Round to port is the huge galley. Really great area to work, lots of worktop space. Gas cooker and hob there. Loads of storage. Nice stainless sink. Microwave above. Below is one of the two top opening fridges that we have in the galley. Have a quick peek in there. And then midships we have these two fantastic stainless fridge freezer full size. These are really great. Have a little look aft again there. Underneath the worktop is the washing machine. All of this woodwork's in perfect condition. We'll come round, we have a look at the first of the two crew cabins. This is a lovely double in here. Could easily be a fourth double guest cabin. Flat screen TV above the bed. And then as we look round here, this panel opens up actually to become a desk. Forward into the ensuite head. Separate shower stall. Nice well-sized head actually. Jabs go quite flush electric toilets throughout the boat. And then you can just see behind me in the mirror there, electric towel rail. So looking aft again, under this bunk is another freezer actually. Really useful extra storage space. So into the second crew cabin. This is a three quarter size berth. These are the four decks cushions that I mentioned stored in here at the moment. This cabin has a flat screen TV as well. And then we'll walk through the ensuite head. Plenty of storage. I'm 
through the shower stall and into the four peak. This is a really useful area, sails, lines. You can see the sideboarding ladders there as well. And then the tumble dryer, tucked away neatly. Come back round and walk aft again through the cabin and into the galley. Lovely work tops, it's a very elegant area. So we're looking at the 220 electric panel there with the generator start panels and up here behind the nav station is the 24 volt switch panel. We'll go down and have a look at the guest cabins now. You can see there one of the two guest double cabins, mirror images of each other, each side of this corridor. And then we walk aft into the master. You see these lovely maple floors keep the boat looking bright and fresh throughout. Huge island bed there in the master cabin with a six inch memory foam topper. Hanging wardrobes on either side. Flat screen TV and vanity unit there. Raymarine repeater as well in here in the master. And to the starboard side, it's a nice little sofa. Really lovely area. Have a quick peek into the master head. This is a nice sized bathroom. Big separate shower. Out the master cabin, down the corridor. In front of us there we can see the entrance into the engine room. We're going to have a look in there now. And there she is, Rivendell, waiting for you to come and have a look. Stepping into the engine room, this is the first of the two Onan generators. Both are 22.5 kilowatt. Both have just over 7,000 hours on them today. Looking forward, you can see the bank of Raycor filters there on the bulkhead. And then the Lumar hydraulic pack. It's really useful shelves and storage space here. Well organized areas. And then we'll just look up here at the entrance. You can see the tank tender and the panel for the water maker, which are a little bit out of focus. My apologies for that. And then coming around the engine room, we'll have a little look over the main engine there. Filters for the water maker in front of you. And here is the second of the two generators. Both generators and main engine have been serviced by my engineer colleagues who were both on Spain, so everything's up to date. You can see on the aft bulkhead there the bank of chargers. 
and then here the Victron inverter. Coming round we're just going to have a quick look at the main engine. This is the turbocharged Cummins 305 horsepower at 2600 RPM. There's currently just under 6000 hours on the main engine. If we look back over the engine we can see the automatic firefighting system just above. There's also carbon monoxide and heat centres in here in the engine room. And there we are, that completes our tour of Rivendell. Thank you very much.